Hey guys, it's J Reacts here, and I want to make a video talking about why GTA San Andreas is still the best GTA. At least in my opinion, I'm not gonna lie. Now, as most of you guys know, I play GTA San Andreas like religiously. Played the game like so many times at this point. It's the most GTA I played. I'm not gonna lie. Now, the <laughs> reason why these are mainly for people who may have never played GTA San Andreas and maybe played only the HD versions. So GTA 4, 5, and all the DLC to 4. So GTA San Andreas to me still has the one of the best, if not the best, story storylines out of all the GTA games. Um, GTA Vice City to me is second. That's probably would be the second one. But GTA San Andreas, bro, was something else. I can't lie. Like how everything from the beginning, how you get back home, you don't know what exactly is going on. You just know you came back because your mother was killed, and you found out it's like your close home. He's acting like snakes. Now, depending on what age you play this game, things come across easier. Because when I first played GTA San Andreas, I believe I was eight or seven. <laughs> so at first, everything hits a bit hard. But when it could be because I just got older, but you start to pick up certain stuff, how the characters act, and it to me, you can make an argument. There's probably one or two, maybe even three missions total throughout the whole game that might be unnecessary. The one that I can think of is the one with, with um, CJ's sister and like she claimed like someone did something to her and you gotta like go bury all the people in concrete or something. That was weird to me. I didn't like, really understand that, but otherwise, <laughs> this, it's been like, I can't complain. The only thing, obviously there's something that's outdated, you know, there's no auto save. If you play on PC, there's like mods where you can have auto save, but there's no, in the vanilla version of the game, there's no auto save. Um, when you fail a mission, if you do not die, you get left there. So let's just say you're with Smoke, right? Big Smoke, and he dies. Instead of the game kind of restarting the level for you, nah. It just says mission field, and you got to drive all the way back to the, that destination. That is slightly annoying. Unless you kind of, like, save next to the house, you're better off just restarting the level instead of driving all the way back. So, I don't know. But <laughs> I've never really liked that. I don't know why that was even i'm games had auto save back then some games did so i'm so confused why saying Andre didn't have it but what else did the customization to me obviously gta 5 kills this <laughs> i'm not even gonna really compare those two but when it comes to like pure story and what to do in the game there's so much you can do in gta san andreas that sticks to the game compared to gta 5 now what i mean with that gta 5 has a lot of goofy side missions like, San Andreas has a couple, but a lot of it's, like, I don't want to say it kind of fits the game, but it kind of sticks to where everybody's still, you know, cool. It's GTA Five, like, it'd be a random guy on the side of the road, and he got to do something really, like, weird. I just didn't really like that. Now, San Andreas had a couple, of course, but that was, like, that's, like, a lot of the side missions. Compared to, like, how GTA San Andreas, you can take over gangs. Even after you beat the game, you know, people are still trying to take the, um, the streets back. They're trying to take over your territory and shit. So you gotta keep that on lock. You get <clears throat> this is irrelevant in 2020 for me, but you can even have a girl for whatever reason. You know, we don't have to go into what happens with that, but you know, there was that. A lot of those, those small, not really small, but those cool things right there. And CJ, the civilians to me in GTA San Andreas is one of the best. I think that in five, like the way how you could just be walking by and someone could be talking shit, or how CJ talks a bunch of trash. To civilians, you can respond positively or negatively. I really do like that. That, to me, has been really cool. Like, it's just details like that that makes the game, like, enjoyable. It's, bro, it, the game has replay value for days, bro. The, val the replay value on that game is something else. And especially, if I had to recommend anybody, try to get it on PC. Get the um, Rockstar version. Install mods. It even makes it more playable like, more than it already was. So you have like ragdoll effects. That's what I have now. I don't know if I'm gonna show clips. I'll probably just look it up somewhere and show you guys and things like that. I really do like shit like that. I can't lie. But this is gonna be a quick video. I mainly just wanted to talk about my time with San Andreas. I don't know why. I just kind of I was doing something else and I just thought about it. I'm gonna make a video on it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.